Hey, I'm Kendall Netmaker, and I want to share with you today three keys that took me from a kid living on my community growing up on welfare to one of Canada's top 40 under 40, four-time entrepreneur of the year, provincially, nationally, and internationally, and one of the top-rated keynote speakers on the tour today. So if you're like me, chances are we both grew up with this limited mindset because as children, sometimes we get told things that program our adulthood. And when I was a kid growing up in my community, one of the things that I thought was normal was we're always going to struggle for the rest of our life. And I would see this as a kid, you know, growing up on welfare in our community, I had uh, very few role models that I could look up to who were leaders, who were entrepreneurs, who were CEOs. I didn't know any of that. In fact, a lot of people in our communities never went to things like post-secondary, advanced education. So my belief in myself was I was always going to find jobs locally and maybe struggle to get the next job and so on. See, when we were living on this thing called welfare, every single month we get this couple hundred dollar check that would last us for a few weeks. And in between that time, my mother would pawn my Super Nintendo, if you remember one of those, or my bicycle to put food on the table. In between that, we would also have to collect cans and bottles, take them into the local uh, recycling plant, and then we would get some change for the, you know, the next couple meals. That was our normal. You see, what happened with that is it programmed my mind to always think that that's how life is always going to be for us. We're always going to struggle. And it wasn't until I became an adult when that all changed. So when I became a young man and I started my first business, I thought I was gonna hit a home run and, and success was right in front of me. But guess what happened? Eight months into that business, I had to close it down and it failed. I felt like a complete failure. I felt like, uh, as one of the kids in grade three the other day called me when I told the story, a complete loser and the whole crowd erupted with laughter. Uh, that's how I felt and I actually went through a mild depression. I didn't wanna to talk to anyone because of, of this failure I went through. But shortly after that, I changed the name and I started this company called Nietzsche Gear, a lifestyle apparel brand that empowers you through sports. And I sold men's and ladies t-shirts, hoodies out of my backpack in my one bedroom apartment in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. And from there, we took it from the apartment to all of these different, uh, from the kiosk to an office space to, to, to all these different stores that we would launch later on in the next couple of years. And what happened was, in between this time of growing this company, this mindset wasn't right still. You see, when your mindset isn't where you're, you're, you're trying to go, right? Pretend you have this big goal of, of becoming a leader or, or advancing a company or growing a massive business, okay? And your mindset isn't right caught up to where you're trying to go. What happens is you can self-sabotage yourself unintentionally. And that's what happened to me. You see, I would grow the business really quickly and, and something, I would force something to happen. I would hire a bad employee or I'd make a bad investment and everything would come crumbling back down and I had to rebuild it. Crumble right back down, and I had to rebuild it. Like it happened over and over and over again. So the thing that changed everything is once I started to invest up here, you see, once you shift your mindset, your outer world becomes better. Once you improve up here, your outer world becomes better. Now, if you're like me, growing up with a limited mindset, you already know what it's like to struggle. Now, the question is, how do we get unstuck? How do we take what we know and keep moving forward, to keep growing, to keep evolving? I wanna share with you three keys that'll help take you from where you are right now to where it is that you wanna be in your life, your business, as a leadership role. Wherever it is that you wanna go, I wanna take you from there right now. The first key is using the power of your story in your personal and your business brand. You see, we've done it since 2013. We brought in the story and we shared it with the marketplace. And guess what happened? Our business took off. My personal brand took off. Now, I know what you might be thinking, Kendall, who wants to hear about what I have to say? My story. Guess what? I thought the exact same thing when I first told myself I was going to share the story. But guess what? It's not about what you think your story sounds like or how you're judging yourself. It's about what other people need to hear. You see, when you tell your story and another person is receiving that story, what it does is it builds a connection between you two. That is the hidden secret in building a business, building a personal brand, getting people to buy from you over and over again, regardless of the product or service that you're selling. Tell that story, use the power of a story. If you don't wanna tell your story, tell someone else a story, a client's story. But the goal here is utilize the story this story I'm going to share with you in the next video is the story that changed our life and is really the reason why I'm doing this video, sharing this with you today. Here's our story. As a child, we moved around a lot. 
The doors closed on would-be homes, replaced by the fluorescent lights of emergency shelters. Our mother moved us to the reserve, living with our kukum. Our family was close in those days. Their legs would stretch out to find another's feet. And personal space was legend like those told of dragons and wizards in the children's books that filled the library. I began school in Cutknife. It was a small farming community in Saskatchewan. I loved to play sports, volleyball, and soccer. And as the sun blazed off my brown skin on summer afternoons, there were those days I was reminded that sometimes, to some people, we are not all seen in the same beauty under the same light. In the fifth grade, I became friends with Johan, a boy from South Africa. We always played soccer together during recess and shared dreams of where a ball could take us. It was spring, and as the snow began to melt, Johan asked that I join him in playing organized soccer. The thought of playing left me with a war of emotions, as I explained that my mother couldn't afford to pay the fees. And with me taking the bus into town, there was no way I could play. He returned a day later with news, telling me his parents were willing to pay my fees and pick me up for games and practices. He returned with an opportunity, one that inspired my spirit and filled my heart with courage. It was all I needed, all any of us need, an opportunity. To this day, I've not forgotten that act of kindness and its impact on my life. I now dedicate my company in each year to supporting youth through sports and giving kids the same opportunity I was given to change a life. That's the power of telling your story. Now what this means for you is, I want you to tell your story. I want you to use what you have and share it with the marketplace or your product or your service. Don't care what other people think, it's about what other people need to hear. But it starts today with you telling your story. I guarantee you, you're gonna see results if you take that first step and tell the story that matters, that bridges a connection between the people that you're serving through your product or service. It starts here today. Now key number two is to amplify your brand. Write this one statement down. People will pay you a certain amount of money for how they perceive you in the marketplace. The amount of income that you make in the next 12 months, the next five years, 10 years, and so on, is in direct correlation to how people perceive you from your personal brand to your business brand. Now, I didn't realize the power of doing this. I didn't realize, especially when I got into the speaking business, I didn't realize that I needed to have a proper website. I didn't realize that my layout was wrong. I didn't realize that I needed to get proper photography, videos, testimonials, and so on. And once I started to do this and implement it into my website, my fees jumped from hundreds to thousands to tens of thousands for corporate engagements. That's the power of this. I'll give you a few more examples. You see, when we were getting into the, to the, to the speaking business and I was starting to coach clients, we got this really funny email that came across our desk. And it happened to be from a company called Instagram. And Instagram said that we wanted to get on the phone with Kendall and we wanted to fly him down to Ottawa and meet with the Prime Minister with, with eight other leaders across the country. And I was thinking, how did this happen? And when I got on the phone with them, they did some research. They did some Googling searching and they went to my website. And because my brand was on par with how they perceived me, we got an opportunity that day. This would continue on further on into our business. We were eventually able to get celebrity endorsements from the book Driven to Succeed and so on. You see, when you raise your brand, when you amplify your brand, you're going to get opportunities, you're going to raise your income, and at the end of the day, you're going to have more time for your family, your friends, and more time for you because if you don't take care of yourself here today, your business suffers. So amplify your brand today. You'll be glad you did. The third key I want to share with you today is Every single person, especially if you're watching this, should have a coach, should have a mentor, someone help guide them to take them to another level, someone with years of expertise to cut the learning curve in half so you can get there faster. Every successful person I know, from people like, like LeBron James in the NBA to people like Damon John from Shark Tank, they all have coaches to help hold them accountable, to help take them to another level in their life and their business. 
You see, this really impacted me when I got into my business, when I started to scale. I realized that I didn't have a lot of people around me that can really share with me knowledge to help take me to the levels I wanted to get in my life and my business. So in each year, the Lifestyle Apparel brand, I actually flew down to New York and I showed up to the Empire State Building and I you know, went up to one of the top floors and I met with a guy called Damon John from Shark Tank. And most of you have watched ABC Shark Tank and you've seen Damon on there, the FUBU guy. So I said, I wanna learn from the best. Who was the best? Damon John is one of the best. So I went down there, spent an hour with him, took so many notes, I brought it home, grew my business and so on. When I got into speaking, I hired not one, not two, but three different coaches within the next two years after that this happened from that meeting. Guess what happened? My business exploded from, from my speaking because I took what they knew and I applied it into my speaking business. When I, when I started to write my book, Driven to Succeed, I had no idea how to write a book. I had no idea how to publish a book, how to do any of that. You see, all I'd want to do is share my story to the marketplace. I wanted to help people through it. So I hired a coach. I started to hire people to, to, to help write this thing so I can get it on paper and share with the world. When I wanted to become a business coach, I hired another coach to help coach me on how to coach. You see, every part of my business that I want to learn, I've hired people to do the same to help me so I can make the world better. And if you want your life and business to become better, you wanna grow as a leader, you wanna grow as an entrepreneur, you wanna grow as a CEO, you need to hire a coach. You need to invest in yourself. That investment up here pays dividends up here and it makes your life and business easier. And guess what? You become happier, the people around you become happier and life starts to flow in harmony because you made an investment in yourself. Hire a coach. So let's recap, three keys. Number one, using the power of your story so you can build a lifelong connection with people who are buying your product or your service. Number two, amplifying your brand so people will think of you when opportunities come, so you can build your portfolio, so you can build your income and so on. And number three, my favorite, hiring a coach so they can tie it all together to help keep you on track so you can get from where you are to where you wanna be much quicker. Those three keys right there took me from a kid living on welfare in my community to becoming one of Canada's top 40 under 40, a four-time entrepreneur of the year, and one of the top rated keynote speakers in this country here to date.